Collective, what's up, what it do? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, Collective, I got to get straight off into this reading. I can't say all of the extra stuff like I usually do. Um, I ask Spirit, what are the energies that the karmic energies are throwing towards the, collect towards the divine? Collective. And the first energy they came out is they want us to be stuck. Okay? They want you in stuck energy, unable to be, you know, unable to make decisions, unsure of yourself, right? Um, the crazy thing, I stopped. I got one more card to pull right here. But I had to stop when I got here because somebody in the collective is not using their intuition. Somebody is not using their intuition. You're up, losing sleep, worried, stressing, and you don't know why. You don't know why you what, what you're worried or stressed about. I tell you what this what the stress about. It's about this dark ass knight of swords. This man comes into your life. To slow you down because you have a gift. You are chosen. So the devil used this knight of swords to come in, have sex with you, get you all hot in the drawers and shit, and leave you for you to be stressed out, um, crying, up looking for him instead of focusing on yourself and doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, when it comes to awakening, awakening, um, whatever your gift is, whatever you are chosen to do, this person was sent to you to throw you off of that path. And they came in the form of a lover. And see, this person is continuing to get away with this and do this to you. The reason it's not backfiring on them is because someone is not protecting themselves. Someone is not using their, their intuition. This person is using some sort of uh, spell towards your money. But if you protect yourself, get you a black obsidian, get you an amethyst, start tying your head up at night, um, drink you some infusion water. And um, I'm saying right now, I might as well... I keep forgetting. I do have a membership. And I'm going to start making videos um, and putting content on there to help you spiritually heal. Okay. So if you're interested in joining my membership, all you have to do is hit that join button and look, follow the instructions on there. Okay. I will be putting posting. I haven't got no, no members yet. I'm just posting it now. I'm supposed to make a video to tell about it. Okay, unequal give and take. Yeah. So you're up in stressing about this person. Because you give your all to this person and they give you they dig. Now this if if you start using your intuition, this person, this is an Aquarius or air sign that you're dealing with, most likely, and you could be a water sign. You could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and the person you're dealing with is a Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. And they move and they do things fast, and they got you stuck in your in your feelings. So I'm gonna find. I'm gonna go a little deeper. Yeah, you're going back and forth with this person. You said you're not going back and forth with them no more, but you up stressing. Oh no, you're not stressing no more. You're not. It's that's over. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay. This is what they're going through now. They're up losing sleep because you're not. They fell on the source that they threw for you to fall on. And if they left you and whoever they was going back and forth with, they not having no equal give and take with that person. They're getting karma. Mm-hmm. And everybody in their community knows it.
poverty and rebirth, and growth and stability in the tree of life. Upright. You're not losing sleep. Okay, so show me the energy surrounding the person. There's the angry ex, the sex machine. There's the anger. So this person is mad. You're not losing sleep no more. You didn't got some sort of money. Okay. You could have won something on a slot, playing a slot machine. You could have been at some sort of casino and won. You could have won the lotto. It could be an inheritance. You could have just got uh, those, some money from your job. You could have got a settlement or something. Okay. Hmm. These are, this is a karmic. They both sex addicts right here. This could be somebody's ex-wife and ex-husband. Now, in some cases out there, this could be a couple right here, and the man is more focused on money, and the wife is focused on praying. This could be uh, another couple that you know. They could be still hot in the bed. They're very passionate about each other. You may have a court, mm hmm some court, some some sort of court papers. This is this is somebody's karmic ex. Now this this don't have to be your lover. This could be somebody in your family. This could be a um a, a, a sibling. This could be a cousin, a relative. This could be a neighbor. But whoever he is, he's a sex machine, right? But he's had he's having some sort of uh he's angry because of court court. Let me slow down. He's angry. He must talk fast. He's mad. Because something didn't go in his favor. Now this could be this Aquarius energy out here. He could be married. And he's married to a Carmen. Now this could be some sort of uh, paperwork from the court. It could be a marriage a marriage. Uh, Divorce papers, he may not want to sign some divorce papers. Um, it could be something with a birth certificate where he don't want to sign a birth certificate for a child. He may say a child is not his because he don't know if the son out here. Um, he could be saying that that's not my child. I don't know if that's my child, so I'm not going to sign no papers. No birth certificate. And this could be his ex here praying that he signed the papers with some secrets right here. But that moon is the secrets and it still haven't came out. Now these are different energies. Just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If something resonates with you, hit the thumbs up. Okay, so give me some more energy, so to spirit. The way that card fell out, Divine Feminine, you shaking your head no to somebody. You ain't talking to them. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> somebody, it's a Divine Feminine out there. I mean... <laughs> I can't even really describe what I just flashed in my head. The way this card flew out. It like, it flew the fuck out. It came in reverse. Like, you saying no. You shaking your head no to somebody. <laughs> I don't know if you making stupid faces at them. Like, just saying no, shaking your head. You may be young. 
and maybe or or very petite and something you able to be upside down on your head and telling them no are you laying down and somebody is over you and you telling them no oh, <laughs> oh. somebody's somebody's masculine it's a divine feminine laying on her bed <laughs> And your masculine is slaying is, is this thing in, in front of you. It's like you laying like on your back. Ain't thinking about him. And then he just come up and. <laughs> oh, is that? Ooh. <laughs> and with this, with this, um. Oh. With this, damn. <laughs> With this sun in reverse, <laughs> you don't know this. They just gonna do this. <laughs> you gonna be laying down, just laying on your bed. They may just come out the shower or something, and they just gonna like. I don't think if they come out the shower, they can't slap it uh, in your face because the shower gonna shrink it up. As they play with it a little before they come out and get it hard and be flopping in your face. I don't know. He probably mad at you. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Ooh, ooh, spirit. I don't want to hear that. That's nasty, spirit. That's nasty. What else, spirit? What else? Yes, this person want to spend time with you. There's some sort of gossip. He could be gossiping to his friends. He mad, but he want to spend time with you. He mad, but he want to see you. But he's coming to, to uh, create some sort of blockages. It only would take one text from this person to start blocking you. That's how vulnerable some of you are as to these karmics. They could be done, done you dirty. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, but this is what spirit is saying. They can be done, done you dirty, ghosted you, and all of that shit, and 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 you don't hear from them. And then when when they call you, you run, you rush back, and you answer. You you know you so happy to hear hear from them. Stop that shit. That's why they keep doing. it. Stop answering their calls. Block their ass. Make them look for you. Shit. Just like they ghost you, ghost their asses. If you don't, if you just block them for a while. Don't answer. What else, spirit? I need to get out of here. What else? The mask coming off. This person could... Could you could have just found out that this person do some sort of drugs? Um, you could have found out this person is two faced. Did um, could have found out this person they'll they'll they party a lot. They probably like to go to raves and them types of parties. Um, this person could have seizures. They could either be a Leo or a Pisces or a Capricorn or a Gemini, I think. They could be any sign, okay? But this person could smoke uh, wet, wet, sherm, embalming fluid, um, something that alters their mind and is not no weed. Something weed is not weed is legal now in some states, but this what this person smokes, it's it it they they're a whole different person when they smoke it. Okay? And you take that where it resonates. This person is coming with an apology. They may even bring you flowers. And for some of you, this could be somebody you've been with for nine years. I see a 10 out here for endings. 10 10. Yeah, you ended it with this person.
Let me see what dates I got out here. I see New Year's Day. I see February 1st. I see um, January 8th. January 9th. I see March 5th. Some court papers, some documents. And this, somebody's ex is mad about it. And somebody is coming into your life or coming back to you or coming to apologize to you just to create more blockages in your life. So Spirit is telling me to tell you, you need to get yourself an amethyst and a black obsidian so you will be able to see when this person come and bring in bullshit. So your, your, your intuition will open up. Okay. Take you a spiritual bath. Take you a, a half a cup of salt and put it in your bath water. And that's to take an emergency spiritual bath. But to take a beautiful goddess spiritual bath, you get you some flowers. You can go to your nearest um, flower shop and get a bag of, of fresh flower clippings. Put it in your bath water. Put you some essential oil in there, a few drops of essential oil. Burn you, a, uh, light you a white candle, burn you some incense, listen to some soft music, and um, or some relaxing music or some affirmations. And you imagine all the you wash it away the negative stuff. Now you're not putting this is not a soap bath. You're not putting no soap. You're you're cleansing your spirit, not your body, your spirit. Before you get in there to cleanse your spirit, you take a shower to cleanse your body. And once you get in the tub, it's like a baptism, okay? And you're treating yourself like a goddess, a king or a queen. You deserve that. Get you, get you a blunt, get your drink, okay? This ain't church. You get your blunt, your drink, and you meditate in there, Okay? Listen to your, your affirmations or write your own affirmations and start taking your spiritual bath. And that's a must to do whenever there is a full moon, okay? Always take a spiritual bath and cover your head at night. Tie your head up at night with a, a scarf. Because even if it's your ex, if your family member, if it's your own mama mad at you about something, they talking shit about you, they're sending waves towards your aura. And that's why you find things falling apart, breaking apart, losing things, arguments and shit. People cutting while you drive and they pulling out in front of you out of nowhere, turning in front of you. All of those are spirits, hindering spirits, trying to slow you down. Okay. And sometimes just go to the park or just sit down in your car and watch the birds. Okay. Pay attention to spirit. And I'm going to stop this reading right here. And if I helped you in any kind of way, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay. And if you would like some personal advice or anything, um, you inbox me and we'll go from there. And I do have um, my throw the ass in a tent hoodies and t-shirts for $25 and $55 for the hoodie. So if you're interested in one and tell me what color, inbox me. And well, I'll get started on your order. Okay. Peace out.